joined by Inter Miami Chief Soccer Officer and Sporting Director Chris Henderson. If you have a question in the room, please raise your hand. We'll get started with Franco Paniso. Hi, Franco. Uh, obviously, we're here to to talk about the news from yesterday and, and Phil's exit. Um, you know what went into the decision uh, at this point? Why now? Um, and what you could tell us about the the decision making here? Yeah, really, really difficult decision. Um, you know, Inter Miami's an ambitious club. Um, we have a competitive team. Uh, results haven't been good enough, um, and we need to improve. And I think uh, you know, thank you to Phil. Thank you to Jason. Um, Jason was here five years at the club. Uh, Phil and I came in together and, 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 you know, worked together on the foundation. Um, so I want to thank them and wish them the best of luck. Um, excited for Javi, uh, amazing experience for him. He has improved as a coach. He started in our academy and it's a great opportunity starting tomorrow. We're going to go to Jose right here. Um, Chris, um, I want to get your perspective on things as well, because obviously you're part of this of this group. You know, Phil is not here anymore, but you work with him in building this roster. Um, do you take some of the responsibility on what's happening with the team as of right now? And also, is there an opportunity for Javi to, you know, stay with the club a little bit longer other than in the interim role for next year? Yeah, I mean, we we all take accountability and responsibility for where the team's at right now. And that uh, we met with the team this morning. We met with the staff before that. Um, we all we all are part of this and what we're doing as a club. Again, we're an ambitious club. This club doesn't want to just compete. This club wants to win. And that's the way we want to take it in this direction. Uh, I look at myself, how I failed to coach or how uh, we have built the team. Um, we, you know, obviously have had some injuries and we've had to deal with it. Every team has that great opportunity for young players to come in, make their mark and show who they are. Um, and, and Javi has worked with these young players. He's had success with the under 17s, uh, in our Academy. Uh, he's moved up starting this year, uh, in 23 into the first team staff. And there is a trust there. Um, so we're all in this together. Uh, we're all going to build this, um, you know, we're at the bottom we're, we don't want to be there. And there's points where we are in touching distance now to turn things around. And the focus is tomorrow night, the Open Cup on Wednesday, a quarterfinal, a chance for this club to possibly get to the semifinals, and then a tough game at New England. So we have to focus on that, uh, those three games in front of us. We're going to go to Ian, then Jeff Carlisle on the call. Thanks, Rafa. Hey, Chris. You decided to give Phil a one-year extension in the offseason last year. This year, to the same point, you have same number of wins, a, a better goal differential, only three points less than last year, uh, but you're further in the Open Cup, like you just said. What, what was different from making the decision to extend him last year to now letting him go at the same point this year? Yeah, we, we continue to build the club. I, I think we, um, you know, in, in the foundation and where we're going and building, um, as I said, we had, we've had some injuries that have had affected results, but we have a competitive team. We have a team good enough to be winning these games. There's, there's, you know, top players up top, uh, that need to be finishing goals. And as I said, everyone is involved, the, the staff, uh, the front office, the players, the coaches, and, you know, players have to have to give a little bit more and, and be a little more clinical. Um, you know, if you look at our results, many won nothing losses, uh, I would say all but two. Um, so we're, we're in these games, but when we get chances, we have to finish. And I think that is, um, it comes down to hard work every day and mentality. Um, but we need to take this for our fans here and the expectations of the club. We need to be at a higher level. We're going to go to Jeff Carlisle, then Tom Boger. Thanks, Rafa. Hi, Chris. Um, you, you talked about the injuries. Um, I mean, given the injuries, given the restrictions that the team is still under in terms of, uh, you know, salary budget space, what are you expecting to improve by parting ways with Phil now? I mean, what kinds of things, given those, those, obstacles that you're facing what kinds of things are you expecting to improve i mean you talked about finishing i mean do you i mean phil's leaving is not going to help you with that i mean so what other things are you expecting to change as a result of this decision 
Yeah, this is, it, it, you never feel like it's it's the right time to make the move and you have to make difficult decisions sometimes to grow and move forward. And uh, collectively, we felt this was that moment. And, uh, you know, Javi, again, has, has had this opportunity. Um, you know, we do have a transfer window coming up. Uh, we do have some players coming back from injury that will be uh, will be close in the next few games that will help improve the team. Um, having having those players come back gives us more competition for spots. Uh, you need that competition every single day. Uh, and then it's a mentality when when we play at home here, we need we need to get results and and we need to, you know, everyone give a little extra 10 percent uh, to make sure we get the result. Um, and I know in sports, things can go any way on any, any given day. But, um, you know, we have a team that's good enough to be performing better than we are at the moment. Tom Bogart, then Jonathan Seagull. Thanks, Robert. Thanks, Chris, for taking the time. Um, I guess a couple years in charge for Phil. Overall, what did you make of his tenure leading this group? And what was that conversation like with him when you delivered the news that the club were going in a different direction? Yeah, first of the conversation, that's it was a private conversation. So I'm not going to share share that. Um, but you know, Phil was part of the the process of of building this foundation, uh, working with the recruitment group, uh, data analytics, um, adding some processes that we needed to put in place in order to work in a in a successful way at the club and help build this as a club that can be sustainable for for years to come and that our fans can be proud of. Um, and, and his contributions were vital in that, um, setting our mission, vision, values, um, and, and what he has done for the young players. And now with the opportunity of, of Javi having to get the experience uh, under Phil and now have the opportunity to step up and be able to show what he can do as a coach um, and, and his support staff that continues with him um, is going to be vitally important to him in, in his first chance here. Jonathan, then Simon. Hi, Chris. Jonathan here from MLSsoccer.com. Thanks for taking the time. Um, what are you looking for in a profile for this next coach to move Inner Miami forward? When do you envision that coming to pass? And I understand if you can't get into specifics, but there's been some discussions, at least from afar. Uh, Tata Martino has been linked in just discussions, nothing concrete. It would check a lot of boxes and theories. Is there any credence to that? Is that something this club would be interested in? Yeah, again, I don't I don't want to talk about specific uh, coaches. Um, there will be a process, uh, interview process, but I'm not going to get into the specifics. That's, that's internal within our club, uh, between uh, myself and our ownership group. Um, and we will, we will continue that process together as a group. Simon, and then Javier. Hi, Chris. I mean, obviously, there's a context to this all around the world. There are newspaper articles saying that Inter Miami is, is bidding for Lionel Messi. Um, did that come into it? The fact that, you know, it, it wasn't an attractive look being bottom of the Eastern Conference and 27th in the league. And, and can you just clarify all these reports? Can you clarify, is there actually an offer on the table for Messi at the moment? Yeah, Simon, I, I'm not going to get into specifics about players that are not on our roster. Uh, you know, I'm here today to talk about uh, Javi Morales, to talk about our team. Um, you know, there is a transfer window opening, um, but we want to we want to focus on tomorrow night, uh, Open Cup quarterfinals, and 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 the next game on the next weekend. So it's a busy period for us, and that's our focus at the moment. Xavier and then Franco. Good afternoon, Chris. Um, given the fact that you said this is there's great expectations for this team and there's an ambition to win, at what point are you going to search for a proven, uh, experienced coach for the team? Yeah, again, um, you know, I don't want to get into the coaches. Um, you know, we we can't. I, I can say that we are going to, you know, look for someone who can and uh, make our fans proud and. Uh, and lead our group. Um, but again, we're, we're focused on tomorrow night uh, and the games we have coming in front of us. Franco, and then we're going to go to the back. Chris, Chris it, uh, it got ugly there on, on Wednesday night, fans with the, with the banners, the booing. How much did fan sentiment play a part in this decision? Obviously, results are what matter there, but the fans had, had obviously not been pleased with how the things have been going. How much did that impact things? 
Um, and if I could ask you a second, when do you want to have this head coach in place? When would you, when are you guys looking for, is it for next year? Is it for this year? When are you guys looking to have that coach in place ideally? Uh, yeah. I mean, the first one with the, with the fans, we, yeah, we always want to play, uh, uh, to win and we always want to entertain our fans and, and our connection between our staff, our players and our fans is vitally important. Um, and we want to continue to build that connection. And I think show that we are taking the right steps to, to improve, um, you know, tomorrow night is the first test, um, for Javi. I think, um, we need, you know, we, we are making decisions internally. What's best, what we feel is best for the club to move this forward and to achieve our goals. And that's, that's our main focus. Um, but we will always have that connection with our fans, uh, before or after every game, um, you know, timing, you know, we will, we will start the interview process, but, um, you know, we'll see how it plays out. That's, that's decisions again, between ownership and myself. We'll do the last two questions back in Andrea. Good afternoon, Chris. Um, quick question. Is there any concern about the fans being able to park with that issue tomorrow? Can you comment on that or? Yeah, I would say with parking, um, it would, it's a question for our front office. Uh, I know Molly's here. She could probably answer that question for you. Thanks. Andrea? Chris, I wanted to ask you about uh, Javier. He's as an, staying as an interim coach. You mentioned three games. Uh, are those the, the time frame that you have given uh, this coaching staff to prove uh, maybe their continuation for the rest of the season? And you are in, you said you are inter, you're going to begin the process of interviewing coach. Do you plan to keep this uh, this core of, of coaches that 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 have stayed with with Inter Miami after Phil left? Yeah, I mean, Javi and I have sat down and talked together. Um, you know, he's he's excited for this opportunity. Um, he loves this club. Uh, he's had success at this club uh, with other teams. So, yeah, we're really excited for him to start. And, uh, you know, his, his first game of being a head coach uh, for the club that he really loves. Uh, so we're excited for that. Um, and he knows that his focus is, you know, let's go, get through these games. Um, we haven't We haven't talked about a timeline. Um, and, uh, he, he's completely aware of where it is and he's ready to, to get started training, training looked really sharp today. And again, it was exciting to see some, some new, new players who haven't been with us recently. 